If I wish to modify a profile, I can go to the Media Explorer under the Media tab, and once in there, all of the generic profiles and role and specific profiles cannot be edited. You can make a copy of a profile. For example, if I had a glossy calendared vinyl film, a decal material that I wanted to work with, and I wasn't quite happy with the drawing time or speed of it, I could go to glossy calendared vinyl here and create a copy of that profile. I select the copy media and give it a new name. For this example, we'll rename it test. Once I hit OK, the new media profile is at the bottom of the list here. Notice that all of these profiles here are from a third party manufacturer or have been recreated by the end user and have a blue icon with them. These can be edited. Under test in here, I can go to the properties of this profile and I could select a different vacuum strength, a different dry time if I wish more drying, and the heater controls. Under cut controls, I can choose specific cutting controls for that particular media. Click OK. Under the print quality settings in here, if I select the button to the right here for print quality settings, I can view the head speed, feed speed, bi-directional or unidirectional or lock it to one of those, and the halftone qualities. The other settings to the left here are when you're working with a spectrophotometer and are doing linearization of a machine or specific color management. When I'm happy with the settings, press OK. And my profile is still at the bottom of the list here. I could rename it if I want to at this time. So maybe I'm naming this for a particular media. You can also do this to modify a profile for the specific settings you would use in your shop and make it easier for employees to understand which profile to use for which media. When I'm happy with all the settings here, I press OK. Hit yes to apply all these settings to the, the profiles. And now that new profile will be available to us when I go to the settings of the job, select the quality tab, and select that media. And you'll notice that all of the settings were the same as in how we put it into the profile when we made our changes to it. When I'm happy with this, hit OK, and I can resume with normal printing.